Welcome to Mullet Family Montana. We are so happy you are joining us. This week I had a lot of fun unpacking my china and putting it in my china hutch that Marvin set up for me. I also made some mashed potatoes and at the end of the video Marvin is going to give you a recap of Elk Camp 2023. So stay tuned and I am so happy that you are joining us today. China that has been in storage for uh, what 16 years or so and putting it in my China now I have to say something I just put I just got done putting these dishes up and I originally had these large ones on top and I had the small ones on the bottom because I thought they looked nice that way but my OCD husband who thinks everything has to be perfect everything has to be square comes over and like Oh no, that can't be. You have to put the small ones on top and the big ones on the bottom. So I redid the whole thing. I don't know what his point is. Why do you need the small ones on top and the big ones on the bottom? His explanation well, really, is... I mean, everything. When you go to landscaping, you stack logs on a home. All the bigger stuff is on the bottom, and you go smaller as you go up. But this we're not stacking. Up. We're putting it on the shelves. So I redid everything, and I put the big ones on the bottom and the small ones on top. And I have to admit, it does look nice. And then I grab a teacup and I put it. I think those look good right there. No, 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 I don't want them there. Oh, yeah, they kind of do look nice up there. Ah. <laughs> process of peeling potatoes. A few days ago I bought this 50 pound bag of potatoes at the local Amish farm to market store and I left them out in my car and, and some of the potatoes froze. So I'm quickly trying to use them up before they start rotting. So that's what I'm doing right now. 
As some of you may remember, last week my video I posted my video late. And unfortunately, my video is going to be late this week as well. Hopefully, once we get over onto our new property, I'll get on a schedule and be more consistent on when I post my videos. So as soon as I get done with peeling my potatoes and I'm using a Pamper Chef peeler. This is my favorite peeler. I've used it for years and I like it. Once I get done with my potatoes, I want to go over onto our new property. I still have some windows that need to be cleaned, so I'll be doing that. bedroom window and as you can see the day is dreary it's been wet and cold today but right now I have only a few more windows to get washed and then I'm done washed and cleaned is such a great feeling. Some of the windows had some tape on it and paint spatter, so what I used was a razor blade to scratch off the paint and the tape. Hey everyone, it's been a little while since we've 
read comments or did a little bit of a sit down. Um, we're still plugging away at the house. Um, we had quality assured painting. Paul and Liz Yoder and their crew, they came in and painted everything. Um, ceilings, walls, cabinets, etc. As some of you saw, the previous person had some pretty wild colors going on. Uh, I think four or five different wall colors and uh, somebody looks like maybe they were stuck back in the 60s or 70s. Not quite that bad. Mm -hmm. But anyway, the painting is all done. Mary has it cleaned. Um, I'm working on the basement currently. So anyway, as some of you might have seen, um, yeah, it's hunting season in Montana. We went archery hunting, didn't quite connect with... Uh, Anything during archery season, very limited time with busy work schedule and trying to do this build. So we went down again the first week um, of the general season. My nephew Weston got his first elk, pretty excited for that. I went out a um, day or so after the season opened. Uh, that area where I hunt is has a lot of pressure. So opening day, there was a lot of pressure, a lot of guys. I saw like a 12, 15 guys. I think I think I counted 15 guys that I could see um, the first day just hiking around. So yeah, the elk were pretty spooked. And Weston was there. Uh, Emily has horses. His mom does endurance races. We ended up putting the saddlebags on the calm horse and she just walked right down the mountain like she was an old hand. Well, she'd only done it three. I think this was her third pack out. But. Then most years, you guys pack those elk out on your back. Yeah, we usually pack them out on our back. I mean, up to five, five plus miles. Yeah, so Hope Davidson, I want to thank you for commenting. You wrote, your new house looks great. I always enjoy your videos, but I usually don't comment much. Just wanted you to know that I'm watching. We love your comment and thank you for watching. Anna O. Billiard, not sure how to pronounce that, but yeah, mentioned it's a lot of ground elk. It is a lot of ground elk. Even though the elk I got is on the smaller side, uh, two and a half year old animal, we got probably 120 pounds of finished product off of that elk, which is approximately, you know, three five gallon buckets full. And it's about three times the amount of an average white-tailed deer. If you get into a larger elk, like a four and a half or a five and a half year old elk, uh, you can get over 200 pounds, almost twice that amount. Becky Ray mentioned, I'm so excited for you to move into your new home, hopefully by the upcoming holidays. Yes, might not be for Thanksgiving. Uh, we're planning on being here for Christmas and New Year's. So yes. we, wanna, we wanna start the new year here. Yes. That's kind of what I have in the back. year that Morgan is in elk camp. You excited? Yeah. We got Weston here with a couple of horses. We're parked over here with our new, well, been hunting with this a few years now. It works pretty good. A cargo trailer with everything in there. We come over here. Sun is about going down. 